This word from the Lord will change your life forever. Question, yes. A question that so many people have in their heart. So many Christians, they are wondering how to be led by the Holy Spirit. How do I be led by the Holy Spirit? How do I even know the Spirit voice in order to live a life of purpose and destiny? This is a very huge question in countless millions of Christian minds. Of course, they want to be led by God. They know the Bible speaks to this end. Jesus Christ make it abundantly clear about sending the Comforter, sending the Holy Spirit. And when you're born again, you are also born of the Spirit of Christ. Therefore, that Spirit is in you and He wants to get all of you. He wants to lead you in the path of righteousness, the path that God has in store for you. Yes, the path of victory. Glory be to Almighty God, the path of victory. That is what we need to bear in mind. And we need to walk in that light in order to stay far from error. So many people walk in destruction. So many people destroy their life. Not because God did not have a planned part for them. We know from scripture that God has already Go before and plan a glorious part for you. I love Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Of course, we'll not read that today in the Amplify. It speaks of the path that God planned ahead of time. Oh, glory be to God. Wouldn't, wouldn't you love to have your life live like that? Wouldn't you love to journey along life pathway like that in the path that God has planned? For us. Thanks be to God. What if you could live with the guarantee that every step of the way, God is leading you? Wow. 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 Stay tuned. All right? Stay tuned. In a few minutes, we'll try to explain this and show this to you how to hear the spirit voice more clearly, more effectively, and how to be led. How to be led by the powerful spirit of God in a more clear, in a much clearer way. Thanks be to Almighty God. Thank you for being here. My name is Minister Nelson. Your life is about to change. Don't move. No, don't move. This is your opportunity for your life to be changed. Hallelujah. Glory be to Almighty God. Let us read this powerful scripture from the book of St. John. Yes, the book of St. John, the disciple that called himself the disciple that Jesus loved. I love how we put it. The book of St. John, let us read together. Glory be to Almighty God. Hallelujah. St. John chapter 15, verse 26. It simply read this way. I love how the Holy Ghost pen this as Jesus Christ reveals and John write it but when the comforter listen this is come whom i will send unto you from the father jesus christ speaking now even the spirit of truth i love this the spirit of what not error no no the spirit of truth the spirit that the lord god almighty will send in order for him to lead us in the path that there is no error the path of light, the path of truth. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, which proceeded from the Father. He shall testify of what? Of the truth. Of the truth. Of Jesus Christ. He is the truth. He tell you who he is. Yes. He tell us his way. Then he said something else. He is also the reality are the truth and the life. What a blessing. When we can have that level of light in God shining, even on us, we know we can live a life without error and without making foolish choices. There are major choices to make in life. And this may seem simple. However, this is a foundation. This is a platform for you and I to know 
that we can live a life. It is possible. A life that is led by the Holy Spirit. A life that is led by the Almighty God. So now we have seen the promise here in St. John chapter 15. We have read that promise just now. And of course, see it right there on the screen. Go it over it again. Recognize it is not just a myth. The Lord said this clearly. He purposed a plan in order for us to go in the path of truth. He planned to send the Holy Spirit to show us the way of reality. Therefore, He is in you and He is in me. So if we yield to Him, if we trust Him, if we give our life as and dedicate our life to Him, we will hear Him clearly and we will be able to be led by Him. But at times, many people try to be led in various ways. By a prophet, by a man of God, by a woman of God, which are good. Glory be to God. The problem with those ways, however, is that except you have a foundation, you may set yourself up for error because you will receive, you will lay all upon anything that which that man of God would say to you. And while that is good, and one hand, the next hand suggested, if that man or woman of God is in error, you yourself will also be in error. You wonder why so much people, nice people, genuine people, is in error today? It's because they are not, they are not conscious, they are not aware that God wants to lead them. Therefore, he sent them his Holy Spirit. So, in a foundational way, in a foundational way, I want us to bear in mind at the very outset, that is God's will for you to be led correctly. Therefore, he sent you his Holy Spirit. And this was the ultimate way that God has in plan for us. So when I threw the voice of a man or a woman, the Holy Ghost is expected to be the one who vet every word and to be a witness if those words are correct. If they are not the word, of truth, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. He will be leading in the path of truth. Jesus Christ, he will take what is his and give unto you and I, and he is the truth. Now you see how much time we mentioned that powerful word there. It's for you to bear in mind that it is that important to God. So God gave it unto us. He gave us the opportunity, of course. Now, fundamentally, very, very important to you and I. In order to be void, of all error and negative things. We must know the word of the Lord. I cannot stress this enough for you to understand. Whoever is your mentor, whoever is your prophet, so to speak, or prophesying in your ear, you must understand to be led by the Spirit, the Spirit of God need for you and I, beloved, to know his word. Isn't that something? Why? Because when you know the word of God, no man can lead you in error. But the Holy Ghost who is in you, he will bring those words to you, he will speak to you. And then the knowledge of those words will keep you on the straight path. You remember the mighty passage that God gave us in the book of Timothy? Oh yeah, powerful passage, right? Study to show yourself approved. Wow, great word. Powerful word, Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. We want to bring a next scripture here. You ready for it? Powerful, powerful scripture. All right? Open your heart and receive it. We are going to have Second Timothy, what is chapter 3? All right? This time from verse 16 and verse 17. Good? All scripture is given by inspiration of God. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God, you and I, right? Whatever sex you want to be, may be perfect. This is good. Perfect. Can you imagine that? Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. This is wonderful. I love this. The Bible is very firm. He said there is a level of correctness, perfection. 
that you are expected to walk in. However, is the scripture, the word, because the spirit dominantly lead us by the word of God. Is a word that is in us help us to yield to the Holy Ghost. You submit yourself to the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost by the word that's in you. He hold you by the hand so to speak. And he lead you and I in the path of righteousness beloved. The right path. I don't know where you are very off or you know I mean turn off along your path sometime as a journey through life but i'm here to remind you that it is a plan of god to you and i to be led by the spirit of god even in the path of correctness part of truth why because the spirit of truth so it's there to lead us hallelujah you can be led i can be led you must be led i must be led and then we'll walk in the victory that jesus christ have in store for us so many times we meet people and we ask them about their life great decision powerful decision you know what I mean? Like marriage, who you're going to marry, that is big decision. It will affect you for the rest of your life. Hallelujah. You're about to tie yourself to somebody with a vow that is going to say until death. That vow said what? Until death. Now, you don't want to just run into a decision like that. Just no. You want to be literally be led by the Holy Ghost and by his word. To literally know what to do, when to do, who to say yes to, and who to say no to. So the Bible tells us here that the word of God, Second Timothy now, chapter 3, glory be to Almighty God. And we read here these powerful verses, verse 16 and verse 17. And it tells you that it, 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 it not only want to perfect you, but it want to furnish you. I love that. That mean, that mean, that mean, that mean, listen now, that mean where you are may not mean that you're already furnished. It may simply mean that you're a Christian and this is why this teaching is so good and designed to carry you into a place of victory. That mean it means that you're not hopeless. So you may make a lot of mistakes and you may feel like you're messed up in so many years of life because there were no one there. You didn't have any mentor. You didn't have any good te you know, teacher around you. We have all the real excuses or real reasons that are there at times for many of us. Some of us may be excuses. Some of us may be real reasons. Whichever it is, it's not a matter of condemnation. So don't condemn yourself. The best of us make foolish mistakes at times for various reasons god is there and he's merciful he's loving he's kind it already happened in the past now is the hour that we can move to the to do some level of correction you understand make amends by faith in jesus christ and of course may it ever pay for all those things that would have led us hallelujah all those erroneous way will call us to be led initially now is the hour of correction now is the hour of making things right by knowing the truth and find out how it to be led by the holy spirit of god you may not feel like you're the most spiritual person but the holy ghost want to lead you in the path of truth christ jesus said he will take from me he will take of me you remember that we read that earlier from the book of john he will take of me he said, when the spirit of truth is come, he will take of me. He will take of my truth. <laughs> I love that. Because Christ is pure truth. So whatever is taken from Christ is truth. And he will give it unto you. It is reality. And he will give it unto you. Glory be to Almighty God. And then here comes Timothy now. As Paul writes to Timothy, Paul said, listen carefully. It will able to cause you and I to be perfect. That's the man of God standing. Why? Because he's taking the, the truth from God, from Christ Jesus, and he's giving it unto you and I. He's taking the reality of the matter. Of course, because there's so much erroneous talk, so much gain saying, so much negative, so much lies coming into our mind from the devil. Different arrows, different seeds are sowed. But you and I can be led by the Spirit because the Holy Ghost is expected to take from Jesus and give unto you and I. That means our way, our path in Him can always be perfect and be the path of truth by you and I healing to Him. Of course, it will take some sacrifice. It will take some discipline on our part. We're not going to just go all about doing weird stuff and expect to be led by the Spirit. No, 
Don't be like that. Discipline yourself. Make some level of sacrifice. I know this is real business. Your life can be changed and change your life. You understand God loves us enough to give unto us the Holy Ghost. Glory be to his exalted name. He wants us to see the sacrifice that he would have gone through by giving unto us his glorious son for us to be led. So John chapter 15 tells us, verse 26, that he will take and he will give unto us. He will take and he will give unto us. I love that so much. Hallelujah. 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 But when, this, when, when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he will testify or tell you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He will tell us of Jesus Christ. He will tell us. He will take from him. He will give to us. And we will able to walk and to be led by the Spirit. Look at the wonderful passage in 2 Timothy. What is said? He said, for instruction. I love that. Instruction. First, right, for reproof, for correction, for instruction uh, in righteousness. And that why? That the man of God may be perfect. So there is a reason why the Spirit wants to carry us or lead us into that path. Listen this now. That the man of God may be what? Perfect. Listen again. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. I know. Let us just wrap it up right here. Thoroughly furnished. Thoroughly furnished. It's speaking to the end. Are speaking like it's speaking here about a house. <laughs> this is so wonderful. It's like it's talking about an apartment. Somewhere right, that you have. So he's saying the bed is in the correct place. The table is in the correct place. The chairs are in the correct place. The television are in the correct place on the wall. The stove is in the correct place in the kitchen. And on the table we have the, all the utensils. We have the plate. We have the cups. We have whatever needed. When it's time to eat. When it's time to feast. Thoroughly furnished. Nothing missing. So he said, the word of God is needed, it's necessary. It will bring us up to that place where nothing is missing. Nothing is wanting. But we may not be there currently. That is the honest truth about the matter. That's why I am stressing this point before we close. That it's not a matter of condemning yourself and beating yourself and talk about how far you could have reached already. We know we all could have far gone. But many of us did not start out correctly. Many of us started out what we call wrongly. All right, And we have to correct as we go through by the word of God. And that is why we need to take the word of God and see what it says is able to produce for us and trust God by his grace and the leading of the Holy Spirit that when the word of God in us the Almighty himself will by the Holy Spirit lead us and make the correction and improve our lives forever then your life my life will never be the same will be a testimony glory be to God in the darkest of a time will be led oh it is to be led even when the time is dark when others are you know questioning I don't sure what to do but you know what to do you stand head and shoulder above all negatives why because you're making the right decision in the darkest of night beloved there is wonderful glorious amazing life that god gifted us with to jesus christ i am encouraging you today to know it is possible and when you know it is possible you will open up your heart for god to teach you and to reveal it unto you by you making the sacrifice by studying his word so first you must know that it's possible that's why we read for read first from St. John. For you to recognize that it's, it is possible. And it's what God wants us to become aware of. Then now we'll be willing to know the dominant way of how God wants to lead us is by his Holy Spirit. So you will know and be aware of the wrong part, the wrong way and error. Of course, we have a lot of individuals out there. They may even have good mind and have a good intention. But many people may not know the perfect path that God has in store, even for you in particular. So you need to know the word. God bless you abundantly. And as usual, thank you so much for joining us here. It is a privilege. Now, I did my part, which is to pass this word to you. Please, do your part. 
Pass the man to those who are in your contacts. Send this word of truth to somebody. If you know it can be help to somebody, so this seed in somebody's life. Because many people out there are daily going in error. All right? Thank you also for liking, subscribing, and even comment. All right? Write your comment there. Tell us about how the Holy Ghost lead you and prevent you from error. Give some testimony or the other. You have some testimony there. I know. God must evidently clearly lead you into some part of truth.